Hey guys, welcome to Dental Mate. Today in this video, we'll be talking about functions of pulp. Let's get started. Now we have a mnemonic to remember all the functions of pulp that is any product when it is repaired it induces its new form okay any product repaired it induces its new form let us elaborate its it uh, form from pro it is protective then reparative or defensive inductive nutritive and formative these are the five functions performed by the pulp the vital tissue of the tooth. First of all, let us talk about the protective function. What happens is the pulp contains numerous sensory nerves, that is free nerve endings. They respond to pain. They respond with pain to all the stimuli such as heat, cold, pressure, operative cutting procedures and chemical agents. And they initiate the reflexes which control the circulation in the pulp. Okay. So with protective function, we can, how does it perform protective function? With the help of sensory free nerve endings present in the pulp. They respond to pain, chai jaisa bhi type of stimuli ho, they are responding to pain with it. And they initiate reflexes which controls the circulation in the pulp. Next is the defensive or the reparative function. Now what happens is, they, if there is any irritation, any kind of irritation either due to stimuli, attrition, abrasion, erosion, dental caries or tooth preparation then to this type of irritation they are responding by the production of reparative dentine. So they mineralize the affected dentinal tubules. Now whenever there is an injury see closed or active lesion may what do they do? They, pr they produce the atubular See, whenever there is an injury to the mature tooth, agar wo injury mild hai, to they form the reactionary dentine. Okay? Focal secretion of reactionary dentine matrix. That is regeneration ho jata hai. If that injury is of greater intensity and there is a death of the odontoblast, then there is a generation of new odontoblast like cells. So, reparative secondary dentinogenesis takes place. Now, when there is necrosed pulp okay or there is necrosis of the pulp then what happens is the pressure on there is a pressure on the apical vessels and this causes ischemia of the pulp itself okay the pulp becomes dead and it cannot perform any reparative function for the dentine next function is inductive function so this is the primary role Inductive function is the primary role of the pulp. It induces the oral epithelial cells because of which the dental lamina differentiates into enamel organ and there is a enamel organ formation. How, how is it performing the inductive function? With the secretion of or by the secretion of growth factors. Now it can also interact with the developing enamel organ organ and determine the tooth type. Next is the nutritive function. So it provides oxygen and nutrition to the dentine through odontoblasts and their processes by the blood vascular system of the pulp. Last function of the pulp is the formative function. So uh, what do we say about the formative function? That the pulp organ cells, they produce dentine. The pulpal odontoblasts develop organic matrix and they participate in the organic matrix calcification. Through the odontoblastic processes, the dentine, formed, the dentine is formed along the tubule wall and at the pulp predentine fund. So this is it about the functions of the pulp. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Do hit the bell icon if you don't want to miss any latest updates. Stay tuned. Keep visiting. Thank you.